Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back Steve Cazola to the show. He has a big fight at Bellator 2-2 against Ryan Walker, July 13th. What's going on, man? Uh, just living the dream, man. Loving uh, beautiful Southern California. Ready to go for uh, July 13th in uh, Thackerville, Oklahoma. Very excited for this opportunity. Uh, thank you to Bellator for having me back and Tiki for making it happen. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm going to be there, so uh, I'll be able to... Uh, this will be the second fight I've been in person to, to see you fight. The first one was at 175 here in Chicago, so uh, I know uh, you always bring it. What do you know of your opponent, man, Ryan Walker? He was actually an old teammate of uh, my last opponent, Jake Smith. Um, he's a guy, you know, eight, uh, I believe like 7-3, 8-3 record. Um, now he's training out in Las Vegas at uh, Extreme Couture there. Pretty well-rounded guy, a, a good size guy. Guy's 185 down to 70, down to 60. I believe this will be his first fight at uh, lightweight. And I'm curious to see what that does to uh, his body and his mind, you know, having such a heavy weight cut and seeing if he can handle my speed and pace. So I'm really looking forward to this fight. I think it's a great opportunity for me to, you know, show my skills and uh, get myself back on uh, the winning, you know, the winning side of things. Yeah, this is a really good matchup for you, I think. Uh, as you mentioned, a guy that is coming down from uh, so many weight classes, you figure to have, uh, as you said, not only a speed advantage, but do you figure cardio to play into this as well? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, the later the fight goes, the more a weight cut, especially if it happens to be a bad one, it's going to play on you. There's no matter what, because no matter what, a weight cut will play some sort of part in it, depending on how strategic and how well you are at it. I mean, obviously, if the man's fought at 185 pounds before and then 70, and then, you know, last one was at 60. So he's never made the weight before, so this is going to be uncharted territory uh, most likely for him. And then also to be at a big stage, which is Bellator for the first time, and be fighting someone like myself who's, you know, uh, just as experienced as him, but I have more experience on that big uh, type of platform. So with the nerves, a hard weight cut, and somebody who's, you know, they're going to be the fastest fighter they've ever seen, I look forward to uh, testing his cardio and seeing what he's got uh, in the, that gas tank and in his heart. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be an exciting night, man. Uh, Bellator 202 is, like, secretly one of the, uh, it's a, from top to bottom, it's a really good lineup of fights. I'm super excited that uh, Bellator brought you back. I know the last time we spoke, that was an option for you that you spoke of, and uh, I'm just, I'm very, very happy, man, that they're going to bring you back. I think this is a very good opportunity opportunity for you how has training been man training has been going phenomenal you know uh one thing i noticed in my previous training camps with the, my last two fights uh, which i had you know were both losses my only two losses was uh you know i wasn't as focused on just fighting as much as i normally was i you know uh i took a great position at a gym as a fitness manager and uh was spending a lot of time just doing a lot of work man i mean as a manager you're obviously looking over trainers as opposed to just being a trainer spending a lot more time at the gym i was commuting an hour and a half one way, you know, so three hours a day, four to five days a week for this job. And it took a lot out of me. I didn't realize how much it took out of, but it just took a lot of me. So I made my proper adjustments. I went back to just coaching, uh, no longer managing, and then just focusing on being a fighter. And I've seen tons of leaps and bounds in my training, in my mood, and in my life because of going back and just, listen, now's the time of my life to be a fighter. I can be a manager later on in life. That's not that opportunity is not going to go away. I already have the skills, the experience, and the education to be successful at that job. But my fight life is running short. It's going to get shorter every day, and it's just time for me to capitalize on this moment. So, going back and reverting to just being a coach as far as uh, my job, and then being just a full-time fighter too, has uh, really shown in practices, my training camp, my sparring days. And I just cannot wait to show everyone what I've been working on these past six months and get back in the wind column and show everyone. I'm a top contender in Bellator. And uh, another thing, too, another announcement, I guess I'll let you know first. Um, this will be my last fight at 155. Um, my last, uh, you know, my last couple of fights have been making 155 super easily, so easily that the next day I'm only weighing 162, 163 pounds sometimes and going in there with at least a 10, sometimes 15, 20 pound weight disadvantage 
for these guys who are coming down to 55 nowadays. I mean, these guys are monsters. Walk around between 180, 190 pounds. I only walk around about 170 pounds, maybe 175 max. Wow. And when I'm in training, and, and when I'm in training camp, I'm only walking around at like 165, 166, like trying to keep my weight up, like eating massive amounts of food, trying to keep my weight up. So I know naturally I'd be able to get down and make the 45 limit healthily. So you know what, Ryan Walker is going to be my last test at 155. I'm going to pass that test with flying colors and let the whole featherweight division know what's coming, and they're going to be scared shitless. I promise you. I think that's a good move for you, man. I think uh, you're right. These guys, these guys at uh, 170 are monsters, man. Yeah, I mean, these guys who are fighting at 155 are, I mean, they're not even walking around 170, 175 pounds anymore. They're cutting from 180. When I trained with Kevin Lee, he was like 85, 90. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just monsters. And when I w look at the top 10, you know, top 10 division in the major organizations, you know, whether it's UFC, Bellator, or whatever, I know I stack up a lot better with the featherweights than I do the lightweights. And uh, it's something that I look forward to, uh, you know, turning that page in my career after this next fight. But right now, the focus is lightweight, 156 pounds is the weight limit I got to make. The opponent's Ryan Walker, the date's July 13th, Bellator 202 in Thackerville, Oklahoma. So obviously, 100% of my attention is focused on that. And we'll do the whole featherweight thing after. Well, I can't wait, man. Uh, you said it perfectly. Uh, I, you know, I always like to give fighters a, a few minutes at the end if you'd like to shout your sponsors, anything you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you to Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center, Dan Henderson Athletic Fitness Center, 10th Planet, Jiu-Jitsu and Oceanside, all my coaches, Manny Torres Boxing, John Schultz Muay Thai. I have the best team around me of coaches. Coach uh, Paul Herrera, um, my teammates, Gio Martinez. I mean, the my community around me, my, my coaches, my, my teammates, and my gyms make me who I am, so I'm always grateful for them. My sponsors, Monster Energy Drink, Clinch Gear, Quality Environmental, SoCal Fresh Prep, um, Purist Labs, you know, supplements. I mean, those guys are amazing people for giving me the support and everything I need to provide for my family, making sure I'm getting the best food, nutrition, supplements inside me for, you know, preparing for this. So thank you so much to all my sponsors, my teammates, my coach, my managers. I love them. You know, I really appreciate them. And thank you for the opportunity for giving them a shout out. Well, thank you for your time. I can't wait, man. Belter 202, you against Ryan Walker, July 13th. And uh, this will be your last fight at lightweight. And I'm sure you're going to hit the 145 pound division with uh, just ready to take over, brother. Absolutely. Thanks, man, for the time. And I look forward to seeing you in Oklahoma. I will be there. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Take care. God bless. Peace out.